U.S. Capitol Police officer has died and another seriously injured tonight after an apparent attack outside the U.S. Capitol this afternoon. The suspect in that case also has died. KCAU 9 Washington correspondent Alexandra Lamone joins us now with new information on the investigation. Law enforcement officials identify the suspect in this as 25-year-old Noah Green. We understand authorities are looking into whether Green has any history of mental illness, also looking into his online accounts to try to figure out why Green would allegedly ram a vehicle into two U.S. Capitol Police officers and kill one of them. And it is with a very, very heavy heart that I announce one of our officers has succumbed to his injuries. U.S. Capitol Police identified the officer who died as an 18-year veteran of the force, William Billy Evans. Acting U.S. Capitol Police Chief Yogananda Pittman says this is devastating news just three months after that deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol. We know police shot and killed the suspect who was driving the car. Pittman says that driver jumped out of the vehicle armed with a knife. Uh, the suspect did start lunging toward U.S. Capitol Police officers, at which, at which time uh, U.S. Capitol Police officers fired upon the suspect. need to obviously understand the motivation uh, behind this uh, senseless act, uh, so the Metropolitan Police Department will certainly be doing that. U.S. Capitol Police also say that second officer who was taken to the hospital is stable and had non-life-threatening injuries. They also said that this suspect was not previously known to Capitol Police. It does not appear he made any kind of threat prior to this incident. Also, this week, lawmakers were actually on recess, so most of them were not here at the U.S. Capitol today. Reporting in Washington, Alexandra Limon, KCAU 9 News.